Big up, big up. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Eric. I'm coming from Abundance again. Welcome to my vlog series. Thanks for watching. Um, this time, you know, it's all law of attraction. Everything I talk about is because it's my life. And the more I reflect on my life, the more it makes sense. It's how I've been living for a long time. Um, <clears throat> but I just wanted to talk in this episode a little bit about the power of the mind. Okay. Um, so basically, yesterday I found out about, um, I don't know if anyone's familiar with the Scottish band, um, what is it, Frightened Rabbit or something like that, something rabbit, Frightened Rabbit. Anyways, the lead singer killed himself. Okay. Another tragic loss, he was 36, he wasn't 27, he didn't make the 27 club, he survived that. You know, when I was 27, I'm like, am I going to survive? <laughs> am I going to join the relics like fucking Jim Morrison and fucking Alanis and fucking Jimi Hendrix and Kurt Cobain and Jesus Christ, the list goes on and on. But no, anyways, he was 36 and he died of, you know, depression. And if you listen to his songs, they're fucking depressing. And if you listen to the interviews that, you know, he just, he was caught up in it. He was caught up in negativity. It was his mind. He was, his mind was so fucking wired negatively because of his subconscious, he killed himself. That's how powerful the mind is, okay? You want to talk about fucking power? Yeah, no shit, hey. So, the good news is, you can turn it around. You can turn it around. So, it's so powerful, you, it, you know, you can tell yourself to fucking kill yourself, or you can turn it around, and you can have the fucking anything you want in life. That's how powerful your mind is. If you just turn it around and go positive, you can have anything. Look at this wine room. You know what? I should do a little freaking video roundabout here let's see if we can do this all brick those are the racks we got four barrels here and then maybe you can see wine racks, the granite, the wine bar, me, of course, all brick. And the barrels right behind me. That's a quick bird's eye view of the wine cell. Now, if this is this is what the law of attraction is. This is what it does. Abundance, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm at it again, hey. But I was a little off today, right? I wasn't at the vibrational frequency I needed to be at. So I'm like, oh, I'll go do some wine duty and I'll drink out of that big fucking glass again. <clears throat> Just as a reminder to get my shit together. But I'm back. I came down here to check on one of the <clears throat> barrels. The two colored barrels I just showed you, those are recoup, which means they're refurbished, they're rebuilt. Um, basically what they do is they shave the staves. Each plank on the outside of the barrel that makes up the barrel is called a stave. And typically when they're new, they're this thick. But when they recoup them, they shave the staves down to about half of that. So the staves are this thick. But anyways, <coughs> excuse me. I think those are recouped uh, bourbon barrels. So now I'm starting to get a bourbon smell in my fucking wine. So I'm trying to fucking keep, it, keep a nose on it, hey. I'm not getting bourbon flavor. I'm just getting bourbon smell. The bouquet, it smells smoky and bourbony. But the flavor is fucking banging. How do you get rid of that? You can rack it. If when you aerate the wine and you let it breathe, 
it'll turn itself over and you'll start to get more of the fruit smell come back out of it. See, what happens is, this is how I like to describe it. When it sits in the barrel, it kind of collapses in on itself because it's not allowed to breathe, you know. Um, so sometimes when you, if you siphon it out of the barrel into a bigger container and you splash it around, almost like doing this with it, you know. This will release the, the bad smell and it will come back to life. And it is. It's, it is. It's coming around. So they call it racking. Little wine tips 101. Wine 101. Rack the fucking thing. But right now, I'm not going to panic. One thing wine's taught me is patience. Man, is that good. Fuck. Anyways, the power of the mind. The power of the wine. Okay? Get in tune with the universe. It's amazing. You know, there's a cool video on YouTube. It's called A Journey Through the Universe or some shit like that. Put on some trance and just, you know, open up another tab, put on trance, and then watch the movie on mute with the trance playing. Dude. Just realize how abundant and vast and infinite the universe is. And it's all energy. And you can tap into it. Wait, your consciousness, once you're just aware of this, you can tap into it. It's insane. It's power. It's like, fuck. Dude, I'm tapping into it. It's, it's, and it's exciting. I feel good. I feel like I'm 18 again. And I'm fucking 38. True story, man. Instantly. I mean, this law of attraction stuff, manifestations aren't instant, but you know, you can you can rewire your brain takes a little time, but you can literally tap into that energy instantly. It's all around you. So I'm excited. This this whole concept excites me. But it's power of the mind. Look, if you go negative, you could end up killing yourself. What is fear? Fear doesn't exist. It's only a result of certain emotions after telling yourself things. Okay? Bad things or negative things. What is depression? Depression is, is the same thing as fear. It's a result of all these negative emotions and thoughts. Fucking let it go, man. It's not worth it, dude. But there's nothing worse than an unenlightened individual who's depressed. If you're unenlightened and you're, but you're still happy about life because you have gratitude, that's good. But if you're unenlightened and you're depressed, that's fucking sad. It is, hey. What I'm trying to do is, with these videos, if anybody cares... I'm trying to show examples of how it works and to enlighten people. You know, it's we all deserve to be, you know, we're sentient beings with, with immense power. We're energy. Your energy never dies. Your soul never dies. You, you know, your body dies. But I know for a fact that your energy lives on. So, that's a quick little blurb. It just came to my mind. That guy from that band, you know, got all depressed, killed himself. It happens every day. People kill themselves every day because of depression, because they can't figure it out. You know, I've, I've battled with it. You know, when I lost my mom, I always had my ups and downs. But now, I'm like, I stuck with it. You know, I live by certain principles of the law of attraction. I wouldn't take no for an answer. I didn't give a fuck about what other people thought about me. I didn't care. I never cared. Even in high school, I didn't give a fuck. What am I, you know, what does somebody else's opinion fucking make a difference in my life? You know, I have control of my life. 
And I've always believed that and thought that and had the mental strength to fucking live by that. Always. You know, so even these key concepts, a, a few of them here and there. And then I started, you. I've always been a visual person. I'm a self-taught drummer. I play drums. I, I was in a band for four years. We recorded an album. I taught myself how to play the drums. More law of attraction right here. Okay? When I was growing up in middle school or whatever, fucking maybe even before that, I was always infatuated with the drums. I loved the drums. I was infatuated with them. And I would, I would use, I used visualization to teach myself how to play the drums. I, that's how I taught myself. I would watch videos. I would watch drummers. <clears throat> Blink-182, you know. Sometimes I give myself the creeps. You know that song? I would visualize because that's a really fast-paced song. And I'm like, oh, man, if I could do that, you know, I could pretty much play anything. And then it's just a matter of learning trip bottom triplets, you know. But that's what I did. You know, and, and I've, I would listen to, I would listen and visualize. And then I bought my first drum set in 2006 when I bought my first house. And I put it in the basement and I sat behind it and I knew how to play it. I knew where everything was. I visualized it. It was just a matter of getting the mechanics down. I had the mental fucking thing already licked. I would rehearse in my mind and. Okay, that's how you do that. That's how you do this. This this is a sequence. And I would try and visualize the sequence of some of the triples and the notes and the ghost notes on the snare and the, the hi-hat and what they're doing with what, which hand is hitting what, you know, what their feet are doing. I tried to figure that out mentally before even getting behind the drum set. By the time 2006, I bought my first drum set, I was playing ZZ Top. I was playing fucking... You know, God smack some of their shit. I was playing that. Fucking I, visualization. I've, I've always used visualization pretty much my whole life. You know? Self-taught, never took a, a lesson a day in my life. This is law of attraction. These are all law of attraction concepts. It's how the mind works. It's how the universe works. And I was doing this a long time ago, hey, before even knowing what the fuck it was. Because I just, I'm like, well, my mind, I have this ability. I tapped into it. And I've always been able to do that. Even, you know, I've always been able to do that. So... That's just what I wanted to talk about. That was just an, another example in my life of these concepts that I used in fucking, even before middle school, sixth grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade. I would, you know, I had music class in fucking, you know, middle school or whatever. And I would, right behind the drums, I would, you know, go sit behind the kit and fuck around. Because I never had a place to put a drum set. I couldn't afford a drum set. I never had nothing. Now I have two of them. I had three of them at one point in time. You know? And I'd since packed my uh, Ludwig up. And I, I it's packed up right now. But um, I'm going to break it out again. I'm going to break it out again. Because my kids are getting older. You know what? I have another 70s Ludwig. It's a little bit rough around the edges. The kids are young. Maybe I'll have them fuck around on that one because I don't want them to fuck up my Vista light. I got a blue Ludwig Vista light. Um, same thing Bottom used to play. I only have a 22 inch kick though. Bottom had the 24 inch or 20, maybe even 26 inch kick. My bass drum is only 22, but he had a 26. But I have a six piece snare, two rack toms. Two floor toms, two, four, five, and the kick, which is a six piece. And you can convert it into a five with the one snare, the one rack tom. I could set it up like bottom if I if I wanted to. <clears throat> but I have the two rack toms instead of the one. Drummers out there will know what the fuck I'm talking about, but um <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, we, we recorded and produced an album. 
Our band was called Addicted. We're actually on iTunes. Um, the, the album's called More Than What I Am. Um, search it. The band name's Addicted. Fucking recorded it. Wrote I wrote all the drum parts to every song. Um, it was a pretty cool experience. I'll never forget it. It was awesome. Um, I was supposed to do a reunion tour with those guys this summer, but I had another kid. And I'm like, I can't. The timing's not right. I got a newborn. I can't practice. We had no place, no place to practice. And if we did, I'd have to set up and break down it every single time. I'm like, fuck that. That, you know, it's not happening. It's not the right time. I'd love to do it. It's fun as hell. But it's just not the right time for me, you know? I'm back with the glass hay. That's my life. Law of attraction, dude. Now I'm now I'm hip to it. Now I now I'm focused and I fucking feel good about it. You know, but you could your mind is so powerful you could go the other way and end up fucking offing yourself because you're depressed and you're negative and you attract more negative and you your brain, your subconscious is negative and it just kills you. It literally fucking kills you. Is it worth it? No. You decide, okay? Turn that shit around. You decide. And you can have anything you want. You can live the best fucking life if you just stay positive. You know, anyways, we're at 16 minutes. I rambled on about all sorts of different shit. But, you know, my whole life was law of attraction. Bits and pieces, certain aspects, certain concepts I've always used. You know, um, I just didn't, I just didn't really know. I wasn't even, con now I'm raising my consciousness, my awareness to it. Um, and now it's like, whoa, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I'm going to move, you know, I'm going to move on some serious shit and I'm going to attract more abundance because I'm there, dude. I am there. And I know it works, and I'm just going to wait for it to come to me. I'm going to do what I have to do. I'm going to live as if I already achieved what I want. And it's going to come. Because so much already has. Everything I've wanted, everything, everything I've ever wanted came, you know, that I focused on and got emotionally involved in, is here. So it's the law of the universe. It's the law of attraction. Written and enforced by the universe. Equally. Okay? Equally interpreted. Equally enforced. Always enforced. Always. Okay? It wasn't written by a corrupt fucking bureaucrat. It wasn't a law written by Congress. Corrupt fucking people. It was written by the universe which is way above Congress, okay? This is the power of the universe. This is the power of existence. This is how it works. So just, I've divorced myself from government. It's a fucking joke, okay? All these gun laws and all this bullshit, it's a joke. If anybody really tapped into the universe and got positive and connected, fuck. Anyways... I'm coming to you from abundance. I'm not leaving abundance. I'm going to fucking attract more of it. Because what you appreciate, appreciates. Okay? There's another saying of gratitude. What you appreciate, appreciates. It's self-perpetuating. That's the other power, powerful beauty of it. It just, it just keeps getting better. So, with that, I'm out of here. I'm going to finish this huge fucking glass of wine. I'm going to go maybe play some Kino. And, uh, oh yeah, I hit a hundred bucks the other day on Kino. That's another fucking thing. Bada boom. So I'm, I'm at the fucking level. I'm, that's the universe. We're, we're cooking, baby. So with that, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching my video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you're negative, turn it around. You have the power. You have the decision. Just decide. All you have to do is decide to let it fucking go. Take a deep breath. 
Let it go. Relax. Let it go. Let it out of your body. Feel it. Let it go. Don't perseverate on it. It'll kill you if you let it. But turn it around. You can have anything you want. Anything. You want a Ferrari? You can have it. I'm telling you. But you got to live as if you already have it and you have to be completely 1,000% invested in that vision. And it will manifest. I'll see you on the next video.